comments here and draw a postman. Yeah, a post person. I'm gonna draw the post woman and you're gonna draw a postman. We hope you're gonna follow along with us. We're super grateful for the people that bring us our mail, right? Yes. And our packages. Now, we hope you're gonna follow along. You need something to draw with. We're gonna use markers. You also need some paper and... Something to call it with. All right, let's start. Let's first draw our postman's nose. I'm gonna draw a little oval in the middle of our paper and towards the top so that we have room for the body. That's a good spot. Then we're gonna draw a circle for one eye on the left and another circle for the eye on the right. And then let's draw smaller circles to make our eyes look shiny. This is the highlight. Now let's color in the big circle, but leave the little circle white. Now we sped up that part, but remember you can always pause the video if you need extra time. I also added eyelashes. Now we're gonna draw a mouth for our postman or woman. And then let's also draw the shape of their head. I'm gonna draw a U shape, comes down for the chin and then back up over here on the right side. We could also draw ears. I'm gonna draw the letter C right next to the left eye and a backward C for the right eye or next to the right eye. Next, let's extend the side of their head up a little higher past their eyes. And then let's draw a line straight across to connect the top. We're gonna to draw their hat next. Okay, then we can draw the visor on their hat. I'm gonna draw a curve that comes down in between their eyes and then back up. Then we can also extend both sides again a little further. Then let's draw another line that connects those two together. And right in the middle, let's draw a circle or an oval. Next, we're gonna draw the top of their hat. We're gonna draw a diagonal line that comes out on both sides. Now we're gonna draw a guide point right in the middle of their head. We're gonna draw, come up a little higher with an imaginary line and then draw a point. Yeah, then we'll start up here at the top in the middle and we're gonna draw a diagonal line that comes down and then it's gonna curve in and connect to that diagonal line on the left side. Then I'm gonna do the same thing on the right side. Draw a diagonal line that comes down and then curves into the right side. Perfect. Let's also give them hair. I'm gonna draw a little curve that connects the hat down to the ear. And I'm also gonna draw longer hair later after we're done with the body. Let's do the body next. We're gonna draw two more diagonal lines. Well, not really diagonal, but towards the bottom, they come out a little wider at the bottom. Okay, and then right here, we're gonna draw two lines for the belt. Then we're gonna draw a letter V for the collar. Those are legs. <laughs> I like it, yeah, two little skinny legs. <laughs> then we're gonna draw a line that comes down on each side of that V, the letter V. Now we're also gonna give them a little bag that they're carrying their mail in. So right here on under the chin, we're gonna draw another line that comes down and connects. Next, let's draw their legs. We're gonna draw an upside down V right here in the middle between the two lines. Yeah, and then we can connect the pants, bottom of the pants on each side. Or shorts. Yeah, or shorts. And then <laughs> let's draw a U-shape for their foot, one on each side. Cool. All right, now we can draw their arms. I'm gonna draw a diagonal line that comes down, and I'm gonna draw it on both sides. And then connect their arm into their body. Okay, now let's draw their hand, and we're gonna draw a U-shape that comes out of their arm. And let's do the same thing over here on the side, another U shape. And we're missing the bag that they're carrying the mail in. Now I'm gonna draw a U shape or sideways C shape that comes out like this and back in. Backwards C shape. Yeah, and we could also draw a diagonal line for the flap on top of the bag. What does the mail worker usually carry? Mail. Yeah, mail. So let's draw an envelope in their hand. 
I'm going to draw a line that comes out to the side. Then we're going to come down. And then we're going to come back across. And then connect back up to the hand. There's a little rectangle shape. Let's draw the letter V at the top of that rectangle shape. Then we can draw two diagonal lines, one connecting the left corner up to the V and also on the right side. All right, that looks awesome. That's a cool little envelope. Yeah. All right, now let's draw for mine. I'm going to add longer hair for my post lady. So I'm going to draw a line that comes down and then connects into her shoulder. And we'll do the same thing right here behind her ear and then connects into her arm. And also, I think I'm going to give her earrings. I know Hadley would want to give her earrings. Yeah. She looks cute. And I like your drawing also. But we still need to do one more thing. What is it? Color it. Yeah, we need to color our drawings. This part we're going to fast forward again. But at the end, you guys can pause the video to match the same coloring. You ready to fast forward? Yeah. Awesome, give me five. You did such a great job on coloring your drawing. Did you have fun? Yeah. I hope our friends are gonna take time to color their drawings also. Now, you guys don't have to color it exactly how we did. You could also change the skin tone. You could even change the details, like different hair. You could also add, we added a mailbox. You could add the sidewalk and even a house in the background. Or even a dog. Yeah, maybe a friendly dog. Yeah. <laughs> Person. Yeah, we do. We hope you had a lot of fun. I think it would be really cool if you also turn this into a thank you card and you could even post it to your mailbox or tape it to your mailbox. Or post it to the postman. Yeah. <laughs> we love you guys and we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.